For number two, you're going to have to know how to clear out fractions. So there'll be some kind of problem that involves these kind of fractions here. What you want to do, the best way to take care of these, is you want to look for the least common multiple of these numbers you see in the bottom. We got an 8, a 4, a 6, and a 2. If you're not sure what that is, start with the largest one and keep doubling that one until you find the one that all the other ones will divide into evenly. So for 8, for instance, 4 goes in there evenly and 2 goes in there, but 6 does not. So then I would take 8 and I would double it, so then I would get 16. 4 goes into 16, 6 does not. Then I would do 8 times 3, so then I would have 24. 8 goes into 24, 4 goes into 24, 6 goes into 24, and 2 goes into 24. So now we've found our least common multiple, and that's the one that we're going to use uh, to clear out the fractions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the entire equation by 24. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we're going to put a 24 over 1 next to each thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and write this out for you just so you can see what it is that we're actually going to be doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that next to each one. Got the uh, uh, equal sign here. I forgot the equal sign. So equals this is 5, 6 and then minus 24 over 1 uh, times the 1 half a. Okay. Notice I'm putting the 24 after the minus sign here. You're just putting it in front of whatever number that you see here. So every single thing gets a 24 over 1. We did that on both sides of the equation. Notice we're not doing reciprocals. We're not doing 1 over 24. That's a different kind of problem. So we're not doing reciprocals in this. We're just multiplying by whatever the least com common multiple is. Now we're going to reduce. So 24 divided by 8 is 3a. And then for this one here, we can cross reduce. So 4 goes into 24 six times, and I have 6 times 3, so that's going to be 18. On the other side of the equation, the 6 I can reduce into 24. 6 divides into 24 four times, and then I have 4 times 5 left over because there would be a 1 in the bottom there, so I have 20 here. And then this one, I can divide that also. So 2 goes into 24, that's going to be 12 times. And so I get minus 12. Don't forget about the A that's on the end there. All right, so we've, that first step we've taken care of. We've cleared out all the fractions. And again, that's the reason why I'm multiplying by the least common multiple. Now we're just going to get all the variables on one side of the equation. I'm going to get all the A's on the left-hand side. So for this, I'm going to add 12A to both sides. And I get 15A plus 18 equals 20. Then I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides. So subtract 18 and subtract 18. And then I get 15a equals 2. Divide both sides by 15. And I get a is equal to 2 fifteenths. And this right here would be my final answer. I would have a, a fraction. So if you get a fraction for any answer on the final exam, you want to leave it in the fraction form. Do not use decimals. Leave your answer as a fraction.